Hello, and thank you for your interest in OCCC's Anesthesia Tech Program. Today I'll be reviewing the application and the required documents needed for the application. You'll begin by going to OCCC.edu, selecting the menu in the upper left-hand corner, Admissions, and then Health Applications. Please read through this page very carefully as you'll notate that some versions of the Safari browser are not supported for the application submission, therefore you'll have to use a different browser such as Chrome, Edge, or Firefox. You'll see Preparing for a Selective Health Professions Program application information located at the top. I would read through this very carefully prior to beginning your application. You'll be able to pay your Selective Admissions application fee here. You'll be emailed it receipt from the bursar's office that you'll need to save to your computer to upload to your application. And then you'll be able to view the anesthesia tech application here. I would read through this very carefully first prior to filling it out. As you'll notate at the top, the application does time out after an hour. You must be admitted to OCCC prior to filling out the application due to needing to use your student email. You must submit proof of payment of the Selective Admissions application fee. You must provide proof of having completed the prerequisite courses or enrollment of the prerequisite courses if they're allowed by the program to which you're applying for. You must meet the minimum college retention GPA, which is a 2.5 for this program. You must submit your most current official transcripts from every HLC and nationally accredited degree granting institution previously attended to the OCCC records office by the application date, deadline date. Official transcripts cannot be uploaded to the application. Please check your OCCC portal to ensure that all transcripts have been received. All preference point information must be uploaded to the application. And then you'll continue on to the basic admissions requirements. The first one is admissions or readmissions to OCCC, valid proof of payment of the selective admissions application fee, fee is required for each application period, completion of the prerequisite courses, the courses must be completed with the grade of a C or higher prior to the start of the first anesthesia tech course. Prerequisites are medical terminology, English Comp 1, Comp 2, AMP 1, or human anatomy, AMP 2, or human physiology, general chemistry, or the survey of general organic and biochemistry and the corresponding lab, functions and modeling or a higher level math course, and one general education course. Students who have not yet completed these courses must provide proof of enrollment in the courses by the application deadline. A 2.5 minimum GPA and submission of the most current and official transcripts from every HLC and nationally accredited degree granting institution previously attended to the OCCC records office by the application deadline. And then you'll continue on to your preference point calculation. You can gain preference points from having a associate's degree, a bachelor's degree, or master's degree and above, GPA, science courses, health-related certifications, and health care-related experience. So you'll select if you have a degree, your retention GPA, science courses, what course you took, and when you took it, and what grade you made with a B or higher. So you can see that the courses are listed when they were taken and what grade was made. Below under the experience and certifications, you'll state if you have a health related certification, yes or no, you'll get a point if you do. And then if you have any healthcare related experience, and if you do, you'll need to submit a statement of purpose on a Word document. Um, which should be no longer than 500 words that list your relevant work experience um, and any health related certifications if you do. You'll then continue on and you'll enter your student ID number, your first name, 
last name, middle name if you have one, or maiden name if you have one, your date of birth, and you'll need to select it on the calendar for it to populate correctly, your address, apartment number if you have one, the city in which you live in, and state, and zip code. You'll then enter your phone number. This can be cell phone or home number. Your OCCC student email. If you graduated from high school or received your GED, if you did graduate from high school, you'll put your high school um, name and graduation year, or if you received your GED, you'll put the year you received it. If you've ever applied for academic forgiveness, if you have, you'll list approximately when you did. If you haven't, don't worry about that. If you've attended any other colleges or universities, you'll need to list all of them that you've previously attended by clicking the Add button. And when you attended, And then you'll upload your application fee receipt, your statement of purpose, and any other additional documentation such as your health-related certification. Your receipt will look like this. Um, it'll have your information at the top, and your email, anesthesia tech, $20, and the fee. Um, you can save it as a PDF or other corresponding document file types here. You'll then upload that here, and then you'll upload your statement of purpose and your additional documents here. You'll then accept the agreement stating that you do understand that you must submit be currently admitted to OCCC, that you must upload a valid printed receipt of payment for a non-refundable $20 selective admissions application fee. You understand that the application fee must be current for this cycle only. You understand that all course substitutions and evaluations must be approved and completed prior to the application deadline. A copy of the course approval form must be included in the packet. Understand that applicants submitted without, applications submitted without all required documents will be considered incomplete and rendered ineligible. You understand that you must submit the most recent and official transcripts from all previously attended at colleges and universities to OCCC. You also understand that it is your responsibility to ensure all courses listed are complete. You understand that a criminal history and sex offender background investigation and a pre-placement drug test must be completed if you're selected for admissions. You understand that you must have the qualifying retention GPA of a 2.5 and that you must upload the necessary documents in the acceptable file formats, which are listed here. You will then assign your application apply and then click the submit button and then if it does come back with anything and it doesn't submit properly it'll be highlighted in red so whatever is missing will be highlighted in red and you'll need to fix that and then submit it and once it submits it'll go back to this page once again, thank you for your interest, and if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to the advising office and speak with an advisor that can assist. Have a wonderful day.